This lecture chronicles the story of the Avro Arrow in Canada. What was the Avro Arrow? The Avro CF-201 was an interceptor aircraft developed in the early 1950s by the aircraft company Avro Canada. Why was the Avro created? Following World War II, the Russians started developing long-range bombers that were capable of carrying nuclear weapons. Remember, this was at the height of the Cold War. This posed a threat to North America and created a greater need for interceptor aircraft. The Russians had also exploded a hydrogen bomb in the early 1950s. Canada was on the side of the Americans, and any threat to the Americans was a threat to Canada. Design begins. Avro Canada submitted designs to the Royal Canadian Air Force, the RCAF, and the government. They called for a two-man plane with two engines, originally a Rolls-Royce engine, but later changed to a Bristol Olympus engine. The wing design was based on German wartime research. Production begins. In 1953, production of the design began. Few parts actually existed for the Avro, and most were constructed for the first time. Improvements needed to be made along the way, including finding a new engine. As a result, there were many delays. The design and innovation used in the production of the Avro brought together the brightest engineers in Canada. Soon pre-orders for the aircraft were made by both the Americans and the British. The Avro would be an aircraft like no other of its time. Testing prototypes. Prototypes were produced and launched over Lake Ontario. Several have since been found at the bottom of the lake using modern day sonar imaging. Problems arise. Prior to 1955, the price for the project had been quite reasonable. However, costs continued to increase and the Liberal government under Louis Saint Laurent capped spending. The British also withdrew their order while the Americans decreased the original number of planes they had hoped to buy. The missile era. Questions began to arise about whether an interceptor aircraft was still useful. Increasingly, missiles were seen as the way of the future. The nuclear-tipped Bowmark missile was replacing many aircraft around the world. Even the US and Britain scaled back aircraft production. The Avro Aero program was in jeopardy. The first flight. On October 4, 1957, in front of 12,000 people at the Avro plant in Malton, Ontario, the first Avro Aero was rolled out. On the same day, the Russians launched the satellite Sputnik. The first flight of the Avro took place on March 25, 1958. The first flight took place on March 25, 1958. A World War II veteran, Yanis Zurichowski, was the pilot of the Avro on its maiden flight. Diefenbaker comes to power. In 1957, John Diefenbaker became Prime Minister. Canada had recently joined NORAD, the North Atlantic Air Defence. In addition, the cost of the Aero had risen to $300 million, and another $871 million would be needed before it came into service. The government felt it could not afford the Aero, the Bomark Missile Program, and NORAD. A decision had to be made. Cancellation of the Avro Aero On February 20, 1959, Diefenbaker cancelled the entire program. Within two months, crews were sent to the Avro plant, where the five planes were literally torn apart and destroyed. Parts were sold to scrap metal dealers and dropped into Lake Ontario. The Cold War was at its height and Canada did not want this technology to get into the hands of the Russians. Part of the fuselage and sections of the wings, however, remain in the Canadian Aviation Museum in Ottawa. Demolition of the Aero Why do you think they destroyed the planes? Was there a better alternative? Take a moment to consider these questions. Conspiracy theory number one. It was rumored that there was a Chinese spy ring operating in Canada following the war, and they acquired some of our technology. 
Which of the two pictures is the Chinese Shenyang F8 and which is the Avro Arrow? Conspiracy theory number two. It is rumored that one of the five Avro Arrows was flown away to a remote destination and is stored at a secret location to this day. Discussion questions. What were the reasons the program was established? Did the government have legitimate cause to cancel the program? If you had a limited budget, what decision would you have made? Take some time to consider these questions.